When I was a teenager, I wondered if it was possible for a computer to predict where the player would go next in a video game and generate the frames in advance to help keep the game running smoothly. Fast forward to 2025, and AI can now generate lifelike worlds in real time without a traditional game engine, thanks to an AI from London based startup Odyssey. Odyssey calls their creation interactive video and was made possible by training the AI on videos of the real world. It predicts one frame at a time, responding to user input, running on clusters of H100 GPUs, each retailing for about $25,000 or £18,400. Odyssey claims that each frame is generated every 40 milliseconds, which is 25 frames per second, although Odyssey also states 30 frames per second. Either way, it's not the smoothest experience, and if you have a poor internet connection, of course it would be much worse. Because it is slow to move around, it's difficult to explore in a meaningful way, but at least gives you a taste of what the AI is capable of. There's currently a 2.5 minute online demo, I was able to try out the demo multiple times, and surprisingly I was the only person in the queue most of the time. As indicated at the bottom left of the screen, you use the WASD keys to turn and move, much like in a video game, although I found myself getting stuck at times. You can also click on the left and right arrows at the bottom of the screen to move through the different worlds, with a mixture of outdoor and indoor scenes, although they are always the same worlds available no matter how many times you try the demo. As you can see, the images are very rough, and it may take a few seconds for your brain to work out what you are supposed to be seeing. It looks like a 90s version of what Google Street View may have looked like, and there's no denying a sense of unease or dreamlike feel to it. The music certainly adds to the unsettling atmosphere. Sometimes, such as when trying to go through a door, the surroundings will change in an unexpected manner. Other times are found to be more consistent, such as when I passed a person sitting down, turned around, and they were still there. While the AI has a long way to go, especially when it comes to the visuals, we can imagine in the future its many uses. For example, to provide new video game film and TV experiences where the user can create their own worlds and interact with, or perhaps it can be used as a tool to try out new experiences before committing a team to develop the world using traditional methods, saving time and money. There is concern how these types of AIs will affect traditional media, and that is something that will have to be monitored as the technology is still very fresh. I think it can be said for the foreseeable future, traditional media will remain for a very long time, and interactive video AI will be an additional form of media rather than a replacement. On the plus side, the AI will open up new job opportunities. In fact, there are currently job listings on the Odyssey site, linked in the video description. There is, and I hope I'm wrong, the possibility that the AI is fake. For one thing, the worlds are always the same, but this may be so you can jump into the demo ASAP. However, if the ability to specify the world you wanted to navigate had been provided, it would have been an even more convincing experience. Aussie have advised that they are working on a revised model that will be available soon. Nonetheless, with backing from graphics pioneer and Pixar co-founder Edwin Catmull, that should be enough to prove it's the real deal. Let me know what you think of Odyssey in the comments.